each activity in network diagram consumes time and sometimes we need to identify the activities which are more critical in the sense of completing the project on scheduled time and for that we need critical path analysis of network diagram so what is critical path a critical path of network gives the shortest time in which the whole project can be completed it is the chain of activities with the longest time durations these activities are called critical activities delay in any activity in critical path results in the delay of the completion of the project there may be more than one critical path in a network diagram to understand this let us take a simple example making a cup of tea as a project so for that you need to bring milk tea sugar and you need to cook it afterward so these are the activities to complete this project and you need 5 minutes to bring milk 3 minutes to bring tea 6 minutes to bring sugar and you need 10 minutes to cook it afterward now let us consider three of your friends are helping you to complete this project in this condition it is clear that the above three activities to bring milk to bring tea and to bring sugar are independent activity since the three friends of your can do it individually and they don't need any activity to wait for their completion so above three activities will be performed simultaneously but the last activity that is cooking can't be possible without completion of all the above three activities so after the completion of above three activities only the cooking process will start so how much time you can expect to get a cup of tea ready from a particular time all the three activities will start after 3 minute from the beginning you will have tea but you can't start your cooking since you don't have milk and sugar yet and after 5 minute you will have milk also but you can't start cooking since you have to wait for the sugar which will need one more minute but from the beginning after 6 minute you can start your cooking since you have all the three activities done since you have all the three uh, material to make your tea milk tea and sugar and it will need 10 minute to complete cooking activity so from this analysis it is clear that you will need at least 16 minute to complete this project we can make some observations the friend who will go for milk can delay his activity by 1 minute and the friend who will go for tea can delay his activity by 3 minutes still you can complete the project on time in 16 minutes but the friend who will go for sugar if he will delay his activity by any amount of time you will not be able to complete this project on time that is in 16 minutes and also you cannot delay or consume more time on cooking activity to complete this project on 16 minutes so here to bring the sugar and uh, the cooking these are the two activities that are critical and from the point of time when the friend will begin his activity to bring sugar and uh, the end of your cooking activity it is called critical path and here 16 minutes is our expected project completion time now let's move for an industrial example here we have 11 activities to be done and we have different given time in hours to complete different activities first of all we need to draw so draw a circle for an event and make a arrow for activity a and uh, another arrow for activity b since it has given activity c will start after activity a so draw another event after activity a and uh, draw an arrow for activity c similarly draw activity d after activity b 
now uh, we have another activity e after activity a and uh, activity f after activity b so uh, draw these activities similar to c and d now uh, next activity we are having here is activity g uh, which will start after completion of activity c and d simultaneously that means c and d activity will share same head event and then after activity g will start so to make it possible we will have to make some correction uh, in the drawing uh, by changing the position of c and e and f and d so that we could draw a uh, event after c and d simultaneously and then arrow for activity g now next event h will start after g and f simultaneously hence we have to uh, draw arrows for activity f and g in such a way so that they can share same head event now uh, draw activity h after uh, this and uh, similarly we can draw for a rest of the activities like activity i after activity e and activity j after activity i and h simultaneously and uh, the last activity is activity k after activity j so by this we have completed a drawing for a network diagram next we will have to give numbers to different events for that there is a rule called fulkerson's rule according to the rule give a first number to that event which initiate this network diagram and after that delete the outgoing activities in this example a and b now give next numbers to those events before which there is no any activity since we have eliminated a and b so uh, here we have two events not having any activity before them so uh, we can give two and three numbers to any of them and this will continue to the last event so there is uh, two activities activity c and e after uh, event 2 and activity d and f after event 3 so eliminate these four activities now you can see there is two events uh, having not any activity before them so next uh, give them numbers 4 and 5 and eliminate next activities i and g and give next number and continue this process till the end and finally you will get the uh, network diagram proper event numbered now let's do critical path analysis first of all compute the different time in network diagram under activity arrow line given for respective activities now the first step will be to identify the different paths from the first to last event so the one path here we have is 1 2 4 7 8 9 and it is consuming 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 1 plus 2 equal to 21 hours also we have another path 1 2 5 6 7 8 9 and it is consuming 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 net 16 hours similarly we have two more paths and we can see they both are consuming 13 hours from the observation it is clear that the first path 1 2 4 7 8 9 is consuming maximum time that is 21 hours so this path will be our critical path and expected project completion time is 21 hours highlight the critical path by showing activities involved in the critical path by double line arrow finally we got our critical path 1 2 4 7 8 9 and our critical activities are a e i j and k benefit of this analysis is we have now a knowledge that we cannot delay on these critical activities a e i j and k but we can delay other activities b c d f g and h 
and so we will be able to complete this project on minimum required time that is 21 hours. Here we have done the critical path analysis. In case any doubt, feel free to comment. This is Harish Kumar Patel and you are watching this tutorial on your e-studies. Stay on this channel, stay subscribed for more such content. Thank you.